Hello, welcome back to Crafting in Quarantine with Arts Etobicoke. My name is Marianne Verstappen, and today I hope you've got your corn syrup and your food coloring because we're going to be revisiting the painting activity we did in week two. Um, and I've done some experimenting and some playing around, and I've got some more things to show you. And um, I know you enjoy painting. I hope you've enjoyed, you, you enjoy this activity, and let's get to it. So you're going to need a piece of paper that's, um, you know, as thick as you can get it, or cardstock is good. I've taped mine down with some masking tape. And then you're going to need some corn syrup. Um, mine's brown, but it will dry clear-ish. Um, clear corn syrup is great as well. Um, I've got two different kinds of food coloring here to color my paint with. Um, sometimes when I mix the two different shades together, they turn brown, but if I mix this one with its friends and that one with its friends, they still work well. I've got some brushes. If you don't have any brushes, you can use nail polish brushes or makeup brushes or um, eyedroppers if you have any of those or just some um, skewers and popsicle sticks and do drops with them. That works really well as well. I'm going to do that a lot in this video. Um, and then I'm also, I'm going to sketch an outline before I start. So I've got a pencil and an eraser. Oh, and then I've also got an ice cube tray to mix my paints in. So first up, I'm going to draw the outline of the picture. Last time I did this, I just sort of freehanded it, but I've got a couple of ideas that I want to try out this time. Okay, so there's my picture. It's just a cypress tree on a cliff. Um, I kept some of the pencil lines kind of faint. I'm sorry if you can't see them all. Um, but yeah, I need to do that or else they will be able, you'll be able to see them once the painting's done. So yeah, that's how it's going to look now. Okay, so here's how my painting turned out. Now it's dry. Uh, this is two days after I did it, so you gotta let it sit for a little while. Um, so it's sort of moved a little bit more, but not too much. Um, I like the way, so I left some gaps around um, in, the, in the foreground of the water area, and it just sort of adds some movement to the water. You can still see the white of the paper. Um, in hindsight, I would have mixed an orange here instead of this, um, this bright, bright yellow. I think um, it would have made the picture, the colors in the picture a bit more harmonious. Overall, the colors are a little bit strange and I still need to experiment more with how you mix sort of natural colors with food coloring. Um, but I, I hope you enjoy sort of the idea of doing a landscape using our corn syrup and food coloring paints. Um, you should be able to get them from the supermarket or um, anywhere where you buy groceries. And um, let me know if you enjoyed this activity in the comments below or if you have any other questions. I'd be happy to answer them. And um, stay safe and stay home. Bye-bye.